money, we continue with investment. We're already talking about investment, which means spending or expenditures on capital goods. These are for firms. So today we want to talk about the fact, one of the factors that affect investment, which is the rate of economic growth. So what's the economic growth? Economic growth is, is an increase in a country's output. So I wrote, economic growth applies to an increase in a country's total output. Total output. So if the country's total output increases, that means there's economic growth within that country. So if an economy produces at the same level year after year, there will be need to increase investment beyond the basic fiscal capital. This implies that machine that we have one hot will not be will, will only be replaced. There won't be need to, for further investment. So the first part that we are talking about, if there is a constant rate in terms of production of goods and services. So if the economy is on a constant output, there's no need. That means every year, each year that passes by, the economy continues to produce at the same level of the same level of output. So that means it's not going to be profitable in that economy to invest more on capital goods. Because at that point in time, what is being it is cyclical. So what is being produced is what is being sold. There's no increase in consumption within that economy. So there's no point to increase investment. The only thing firms will do if they are if they continue to produce at a constant level year after year, the only thing they need to do is to replace fiscal goods, the ones that are worn out. So that's why I said there won't be need to increase investment beyond replacing fiscal capital. So there won't be need to in increase investment because it's not going to be profitable to increase investment when you continue to produce the same output. So the same output is the same income that you are, you're getting as firms. So there's no point to increase your investment because each year that passes by, it is still constant. So the only thing you do is you replace capital goods, machines that are worn out, equipment that are worn out. That is the only thing the firms have to do. So there's not going to be investment when the economy is on a constant rate of return. Then, for, for, okay, in contrast, if the economy is expanding, firm, that if the economy is expanding, that is economic growth. At that point in time, firms will need to increase their investment to have the capital equipment to produce more goods and services needed for the economy. So if the economy is expanding, that means they are witnessing economic growth. For economic growth, the first one we talked about is a constant return. The second one is economic growth. If the economy is expanding, if there is constant, uh, if there is continuous growth within the economy, that means aggregate demand within the economy is increasing. So as a, as a result of that, it is important for firms to increase their investment in capital goods. Because if they cannot increase their investment in capital goods, they might not be able to meet up with the demands of the economy. So if there is expansion within the economy, if there is economic growth, so there is also need for expansion. There is also need for investment in capital goods. That is what I said there. And lastly, if the economy is shrinking, if the economy is shrinking, basically we are talking about a recession. If there is recession, firms will not need to replace all their investment goods they have that are worn out due to lower output. They will need less capital equipment. And the last one, the, the last one is about economic decline. If there is economic decline, there is no point to invest on capital goods. There is no point to even replace one out equipment because those one out equipment will not be even useful. The output within the economy is low. The aggregate demand within the economy has fallen. So there's no need to even replace one out equipment. So due to lower output, they will need less capital equipment. So they won't need more capital equipment because the economy is in decline. So it's, it's not profitable, it's not ideal to increase investment at this point in time. So there are three conditions here about economic growth. The first one is if the country continues to produce the same level of output year after year, there's no need to increase investment on capital goods. Rather, there's need to replace one out equipment so that they can meet up with the need and wants of the customers or aggregate demand. But if the economy is increasing, if the economy is witnessing increase in aggregate demand, there's point, there's always a point to increase investment so that the demands, the needs and wants or the demand for goods and services will be met by the firms. So investment will increase if there's economic growth. But if the economy is shrinking, if there's recession, that means there's no point to even replace one out equipment and there's no point to increase investment. Why is it so? Because there's what we call the accelerator theory. So that means investment is linked to income and output. So what we are saying in essence is this. There's accelerator theory because investment is linked, is dependent on income and output within the economy. 
If output remains the same, if income remains the same and output remains the same, there's no point to increase investment on capital goods. Rather, you only replace one out equipment. If the economy is witnessing growth, there's points to increase investment on capital goods. If the economy is witnessing decline or shrinking economy or recession, there's no point to even replace one out equipment as a result of lower output. So, that, so it means, based on all these analysis, there's, there's what we call the accelerator theory. And which is what is the accelerator theory? It states that investment is linked to changes in output and income. So whenever we need to talk about increase in investment, we have to check, we have to find out if output within the economy has increased and if the level of income within the economy has increased. So the formula for investment, uh, investment uh, for the accelerator theory, we have the investment in period, investment in the time period equals to accelerator, acceleration into yt minus yt minus 1, which is the change in the income, the real income at that time level. So look at how I wrote it. Investment time period equals to accelerator, accelerator coefficient multiplied by the change in the real income during the time period. So we have our accelerator coefficient is the capital output ratio. Our accelerator coefficient is what? The capital output ratio. So what does the capital output ratio mean? It means the amount of capital needed to produce a given level of uh, a given quantity of good or services within the economy. That's what we call accelerator, accelerator, uh, accelerator coefficient. So I wrote it here. Accelerator, accelerator coefficient is capital output ratio, which is the amount of capital needed to produce a given quantity of goods. So we have this. So if ten dollar of capital good of capital is needed to produce two dollar of goods, then the accelerator coefficient will be five. So we have our accelerator coefficient to be 5. So here, if $10 of capital is needed to produce $2 of goods, then our accelerator, then the accelerator coefficient, accelerator coefficient will be $10 divided by the output, 2, $2, so which is $5. So this is accelerator coefficient. So let's assume that within that economy, the changes in the level of income has increased to 1 billion. So that means if the changes within the economy has increased to 1 billion, changes in income, changes in income is now 1 billion dollars. Let's say 1 billion dollars. So if changes in income has increased to 1 billion dollars, then our increase in investment will be the increase in investment, the increase in investment, the increase in investment will be 1 billion multiplied by 5, which is the accelerator coefficient. So that means investment in that, in that economy will become 5 billion. So this is how we work it. So for accelerator theory, it only states that Investment, whenever we have to talk about investment, it has to be linked to income. So look at here, there's a change in income within this economy for around 1 billion. And the accelerator, that means, that is the change in income. Then our accelerator, as according to what they said, they said, if, the, if, capital, if $10 of capital is needed, that means we need $10 of capital to produce $2 of goods, which is the same as capital output ratio. See, this is our capital output ratio. So our capital output ratio is $5. So the capital output ratio, if the capital output ratio is $5, and the change in income level has become $1 billion. So it means $1 billion multiplied by $5 will give us the investment value in that economy. So this is how economic growth affects investment ratio. I think it's clear. So I'm going to quickly recap it. There's a constant economic growth. If, there's, if the economy is not growing, it's not in decline and it's not, it's not in decline and it's not growing. That means it is constant. There's no need to replace, there's no need to increase investment. Rather, you replace one out equipment. If the economy is witnessing growth or expanding, there's need to increase investment. If the, econ if the economy is witnessing decline through recession, there's no need to even replace one out equipment. At that time, because the output within the economy is slow. As, as a result of these three analyses, it means that there's what we call the accelerator theory. And what is accelerator theory? It means that investment is linked to, invest to income and output. And how do we find it out? It is investment in the time period 
equals to accelerator coefficient multiplied by the change in the real income during the period time, the time period. So our accelerator coefficient is capital output ratio. And what is capital output ratio? The amount of capital needed to produce a given quantity of goods. So if we have if ten dollar of capital is needed to produce two dollar of goods, then our accelerator coefficient is ten dollar divided by two, which is five dollars. So the accelerator coefficient will, will be multiplied with the change in the income level to understand the value of investment within the economy. So if the change in income level is one billion dollar, then the increase uh, the increase in investment will be. $1 billion multiplied by the accelerator coefficient, which is $5. That gives us $5 billion. Thank you. So the next class, we're going to talk about business cost, which is also a factor that affects investment.